So before Radicava, we had only Rilotec was the only other FDA-approved medication um, that had a uh, effect in uh, slowing the progression down of the disease. Uh, and uh, uh, it wasn't until 22 years after uh, Rilozole uh, was out in the market that Radicava was introduced. Um, so Radicava has been out in Japan for a while. It, it's a, a free radical scavenger. It has been used in uh, the content, context of, context of stroke uh, treatment. And uh, it, recently, ALS-related uh, clinical trials have been uh, uh, conducted in Japan, showing that there may be some benefit in slowing down the progression. Um, it is, uh, the research has shown that the, uh, there is definitely oxidative stress, that is when you have um, uh, free radicals of oxygen that can be uh, dangerous to cells, uh, they've been implicated in the progression of the disease. And uh, Radicava uh, lessens the free radical oxidative stress. Uh, hopefully thereby uh, provide, pro providing some delay in the progression of the disease. And that is what the uh, clinical trials have shown. Um, it is a success in and of itself that 22 years later we have another drug. Um, and we're uh, hopeful that it shows benefit in more than just uh, what has already been tested. It's, um, it's been shown to show improvement in patients with relatively early diagnosis of ALS. Um, and uh, we will find out now that we will have access to it to all of our ALS patients uh, what benefit it has in uh, patients outside of that uh, group.